After our battle with fighting the pirates, we luckily were able to get our Churchill back to the garage and get it repaired, since it was still close. We continued on our way to backtrack through the lands where the Black Plague was last seen, to hopefully get eyes on our next targets. We tried keeping a closer eye of our surroundings to protect ourselves from another battle and save what we could for when we encountered the Black Plague. The site of the once seen before Fort of Despair came into view as we looked over to see the ruins of the tanks we saw destroyed from the Black Plague lay where they had last seen them. We slowed our tanks down and hid ourselves just outside the fort to see if the Black Plague had claimed the area as their own, or if they decided to abandon it after their previous victory. The silence of the fort gave off a death-like eerie feel as we talked about a plan to safely scope out the perimeter. It came to the decision to take our smallest tanks in to get eyes as they were the most mobile in case anything were to happen and they were the quietest. It was decided that the Americans, us, and the Russian family were to move in and see what we can find while the others waited just outside the walls. The sight of each area within the crumbling walls left us in a state of panic as we carefully hoped not to get spotted by anything else first. It felt like anything could happen at any moment as we stayed alert and alarmed as we moved forward into each part of the desolate land. We slowly crept through and kept rolling forward as the sound of the American's voice came over the radio confirming eyes on a group of tanks just on the east side of the fort. We moved closer to spot what the Americans had seen as we too started to also lay our eyes on a few parked tanks in the distance. We killed our engines while asking the others over the radio if it was who we thought it was. We couldn't tell, but we knew we had to get a closer look if we were going to find out. We can keep our tanks active and back while one sneaks up on foot to get a better look. If anything goes wrong, we'll provide cover. The Russian family voice is over the radio. A moment of nerve-wracking silence is felt as I pipe up to accept the task. I climb out of our tank as my family wishes me luck and to give them a signal in case anything goes wrong. I acknowledge and creep forward while trying not to make a sound or alarm anyone around the perimeter. As I sneak along one of the war-beaten walls, I start to hear voices from the group talking around the corner. I look back at the American and Russian family to confirm I have ears on them. They continue to intensely look upon me as I continue to try and pick up on what is being said. The sound of another tank in the distance is heard moving through the ruins. The Americans and Russians perk up to see where it might be coming from. I try to continue to make out what is being said as I hear them start to talk about coordinates of where their other group is and that they're in need of support from a clan known as the Black Plague. Just as I begin to realize it wasn't the Black Plague we are spying on, one of their tanks comes in around the corner. In shock while spotting us, spying on them and fires the first shell in panic, hitting our American friends and also alarming the rest of their group and our clan waiting outside the walls of the ruins. People are seen running back to their tanks and starting them as I start to try and run back to our tank while being fired upon. We back up to brace ourselves for the oncoming enemy tanks moving upon us as shells are fired at us. We radio to the rest of our clan for help as we start to realize we're getting trapped and a large tank comes into view pointing its cannon at us to fire. But just before it can, it gets destroyed by our friends finally arriving to join the fight. 
The struggling American tank tries to move back while getting hit again, luckily not damaging anything crucial. Our group moves into attack while the enemies try to push forward and their lighter tanks try to flank. We move with the Russians to engage the light tanks while the heavies move into each other into a fierce battle. As we try to flank, our KV tries to come around a blind corner and fires upon us while hitting the wall and just barely missing us. The enemies pick up on where the KV was firing at and seize us as they start to take aim and fire at us as well. Our friends take aim on the weaker side of their turrets and knock them out. More tanks are seen entering the fight as shells are fired upon us, hitting against us. We race around with the Russian family of T-34 to fire along the sides of their tanks as some of them start to take cover and move against us. The knowledge of our position causes the enemy to take a different strange formation and we lose track of one of their heavies we had spotted earlier as we continue to get fired upon. We push the weaker side that has taken a defensive role. The rooted positions seem to stonewall our progress as the leopard tries to engage from a different angle against their lights, but gets ambushed by a heavy we had lost track of in cutting them off and firing upon our leopard, almost destroying them and causing them to pull off. Our heavies start to realize they're in trouble from the new exposed flank as they begin to move back and begin to take more fire. Our T-14 moves back to try and hold off the side, but gets hit and causes the turret to jam. The KV and Churchill try to support the T-14 as the heavies that once took a defensive stand start to move against them and slam them with more shells. Realizing the trouble we're in, we race behind the forceful push from the enemy. Our T-14 tries to move to take aim on the incoming side as they blast away one of the lights, but gets tracked in the process. Our KV and Church yell in him for support over the radio. We spot an upcoming heavy from the flank and tell them to focus fire on the approaching heavy as it comes around the corner to take aim, but gets destroyed from the simultaneous fire of our heavy. Our Churchill tries to engage against the lights, but it's too slow and start to realize as they take focus on the KV. The KV tries to continue to move back, but gets trapped as they begin to get closed in upon. Fear overtakes the KV as it realizes it might not survive and fires its last shell to take out one of the enemies as they start to get circled by the enemy to take more damage. Just before the crew of the KV realizes their cannon is knocked out, another heavy from the side comes out to finish them off as we're able to race in front of them just in time and begin to feel the powerful blow from the heavy's shell hit our side, completely immobilizing us. The Americans and Russian family engages the lighter tanks to luckily take them out. While the Leopard pounds the heavy with a multi-shell blast, causing it to put its ammo rack and explode. Members of our family crawl out of their damaged tanks, as we also try to make it out of ours, while smoke fills the air. It was amazing we hadn't lost anyone after the close call, but we were able to check and see most of us were luckily okay and not seriously wounded. The crew of the KV crawls out of their broken tank and looks up to see us next to our own tank that took the fatal blow from the heavy that was meant for them. They walk over as their commander looked at us in silence and held out his hand with the realization of knowing they were wrong about us and wanted to become friends. We shook their hands as they helped us up and we began to try and repair what we could from our group as our next stop to the coordinates we overheard would hopefully be where we would finally see the Black Plague.